If you could think back to your high school or middle school speech class, my guess is that you can remember a teacher giving advice like make eye contact, engage your audience, or stand up straight. In short, what they were trying to say is don't act like a robot. But we're here to share an innovative e-learning approach that makes it okay to be a robot. In fact, being a robot might just provide one solution to a very significant problem facing our country today. According to the Administration on Aging, by the year 2060, 92 million people will be 65 years and over. Tonight, we're here to share with you how we are preparing our students to use telehealth robots to help address the needs of this aging population. Telehealth robots is a real-time, two-way communication. We are able to be in different places through this telehealth robot. In just a couple minutes, you're going to meet our robots. So this shifting demographic is creating some significant challenges, and these are challenges that are going to acquire different thinking. I think we're all aware that technology is advancing very rapidly, and it's impacting, if not transforming, just about every area of our lives. However, technology alone will not address these challenges. If we're going to realize the promise that technology offers, we're going to have to educate the current and the future workforce not to just be knowledge experts in their field, but that they're able to apply and creatively leverage technology to really think beyond specific products. In short, we want to create students, we want to educate students in a way that they're not just content consumers, but they're content creators. In the case of healthcare, we want to educate a professional that can use the technology, that can, that can creatively apply the technology, at the same time balance that human touch, that connection with the patient. We want them to be able to innovate with the technology in a way that really allows them to view their professional role in a different way. In today's world, we are facing a variety of healthcare complex situations. Some of these consist of the health disparities, the workforce shortage, the aging population, one of the technologies that we believe that can help us meet those challenges are the robots. Let's meet the robots right now. Right here next to me is Prashan Bala Supramania. He is demonstrating our, one of our clinical robots. As you can see in the face here, we are able to be, connect, assess, evaluate, educate, and be able to administer different health modalities through our clinical robots. Some of the examples of the way that we're using the robot is with patient education, independent living health assessments. It's used in hospice visits as well as to provide mental health services. Now you may be thinking this seems a lot like Skype or FaceTime. It is very similar to those two modalities. However, in our clinical robot here, the information that is shared is confidential and protected through the secure environment. Also, when we are using this in far distance, remotely, we are able to move this from patient to patient without any assistance. And Emmanuel Lewis is joining us in our robot that we use in our educational setting. So we use this robot to introduce the concept of telehealth, uh, to familiarize the students with the technology. And then we also use it to uh, to, to develop simulated remote presence telehealth, telehealth scenarios uh, for the students to interact with. If you think about education, how we deliver education today, it's really not that different than we did 30 or 40 years ago. But today's world really requires that we have a different approach. As a result, through partnership, we've developed a, a new e-learning, uh, a new framework, a model. It's really a model that you can think of as a bridge 
uh, between what we do in the classroom and our skills and simulation environments and the real world. And what we're using in the real world is we're having an intra-professional collaboratory house. And this is bridging from our classroom into the real world for our students. The students go to the collaboratory house to especially concentrate on their use of the telehealth robots. The nice part about the collaboratory house, it is located on a continuing care retirement center campus. It's home to 800 residents. The residents volunteer their time to help us enhance the learning experience for our students. At the house, we're focused on four areas for the telehealth robots. The one area is perfecting the student's use with the telehealth robots. The second area is the exploration with the residents themselves to see how well they relate to the technology. The third area is we're able to team up our nursing students to and learn how to work in an interdisciplinary team building way with the other disciplines of students that come to the house. And in the fourth way is that we are preparing them to take part in So imagine a world where every healthcare provider is ready and poised to leverage the technology of a given day to extend reach, improve care, and change the outcomes. We believe that educating humans to be robots is one way that will move us towards that goal. Thank you.